Welcome to episode three of Mutt Up or Shut Up. Now this week I can already tell you I won't have done as much because unfortunately I just had a lot of other stuff going on. What I'm hoping this week will prove is that you can play Man Ultimate Team like a lazy casual and still, you know, earn a decent amount of be it players, coins, whatever. I'm hoping that I'll be able to prove with this that we can just go real easy but still actually achieve something. Now, of course, we're just going week by week and don't worry, we will start getting into some serious stuff coming up but right now, I'm still trying to perfect this team without buying any players. Now, I could go straight away. We've got the coins. I could go straight away and start buying some of the cheaper but good players but I'm still trying to hold off because I'm trying to see how good we can make a team by just not buying anything. Now of course that would make all the coins that we have completely useless but just as kind of like a fun experiment until it's really time to start doing that. That is what I wanted to do. It will continue being like this this week, maybe next week as we start to take on the solo battles and stuff. That's when I will actually start bringing in players. We've attempted some and it just doesn't go well with our current team. That's why I'm trying to make it better right now before jumping in. But without anything else left to say, let's get into this week's episode and see what I managed to unlock just playing like a lazy, dirty casual. Another set of challenges done, the Gatorade challenges out of the way. And of course, we finished the Rookie Gauntlet, we finished Team Diamonds, we finished Gatorade. These are all challenges that feed into sets and we haven't touched sets yet. So what I'm going to do now is we're gonna take a look at the sets, see what we can complete, you know, see what we may want to complete. And then that gives us, of course, another target. We're also at 380, well, almost 381,000 coins. So would like to get to 400,000. Well, I'd like to get to 500,000 without ever doing anything, without ever opening a pack. But I think, you know, we're not going to be able to get there without having to probably pay out some coins somewhere, especially if we're looking to finish some sets and stuff. I'd also really like to get to the journey. That would be great, but still five levels away from there. It's going to take a while. We're going to have to do a lot more than just challenges to get that. Of course, I probably should do these as well, but I just don't think they're that. Of course, you get power plays, training points, but I don't think they're that useful as in not to where I can be bothered to do them right now. So let's take a look at the set. So the first set we complete is the offensive campaign hero pack. And of course, we know roughly what there is, but it's going to be a big choice because of course, now we've got to think about the Gatorade players. We've got to think about what we already have. And I'm thinking... Running back, not so much because I'm thinking I want to go for Todd Gurley with the Gatorade players. Now, we already have a Ben Roethlisberger. We'll have to see how he compares to the version we already have. Uh, better? Not significantly better? So is it worth, you know, getting him when we already have an untradeable one? Of course, this LaShawn McCoy would be nice if he's got good speed because that's not what we do not have at the running back position. It's only 87. Now, it is that is a good, obviously, but... You know, 87 isn't crazy. So I'm thinking maybe more the direction of a receiver, but again, the receiver's got to be fast. So I'm actually now looking at Zach Ertz. I'm thinking Zach Ertz is the man. Zach Ertz not really doing anything more above Jimmy Graham, but you know, two tight ends I'll always have. Anyway, I'm going to pick Zach Ertz. Maybe I should go quarterback, but I'm happy enough with Ben Roethlisberger. So we'll do that. We've got Zach Ertz on the team. That's great. I won't put him in straight away. We'll do it in a second. And now for the defensive one as well. And I'm I'm looking already. I've got an eye on Dion Jones right here. We'll have to take a look at his speed, but that is someone I thought I wanted. Anyway, the 84, that's really good. I mean, that's really good. He's going to be really useful for a really long time, I think. Telvin Smith is good, but he plays on the same side. Wait, it is the same side, right, as our Miles Jack? No, it's not. It's the other side. We may take Telvin Smith, but, you know, with sub-package linebackers, you only really need two. Marcus Peters, how fast are you? Because you could be pretty good too, but you've got to be over 90. 85, that's a joke. We need guys with, like, in the, at least 88, 89, you know. So, I'm going to go Deion Jones. I already thought I was going to go him, and I'll absolutely do that. Also, now that we've got him, we've got to start thinking about upgrading people and who we're going to use training on, stuff like that. But that's that out of the way. We can finish off one more here and we might as well do this one and just fully complete this campaign one. And we'll take a look at what we get. Undoubtedly nothing really that good, but we'll see. Maybe somehow we get an elite here. Of course we don't, it's just Delvin bro. That's not that exciting. Maybe we can add him to some sort of set at some point. So there we go, the campaign completed. Also, a little bit ridiculous that I waited until now to do this, but I'm just trying to get things done like, you know, once, not one set at a time, but doing a bunch of stuff at the same time. So com campaign sets 
completed. We've got two players that of course will go straight into our starting lineup. Now the Rookie Gauntlet Champion Fantasy Pack. Again, they're offering a lot with quarterbacks. You really can do well with the quarterbacks, but I don't feel like we need it. And again, middle linebacker, Jay Alexander, how good are you with your speed? That's all we care about is speed. 88, now there's a guy we would take. Compare him to everybody else, that is really good speed. I, I do believe we will take him. Not, we'll take a quick look at DJ Moore just in case. Baker Mayfield, of course, would be nice as well, but that's not bad either. That 87 speed, you know, that's the same as Brandon Cooks. Better jumping, better catching. Obviously, some really good plays here, but I do believe I'm going to take Jay Alexander and we'll be done with that. And we're back here again, of course. I just want to take a quick look at Baker Mayfield. I mean, look at that. He is very interesting because his accuracies are better as well and everything's better about him and the speed is the big difference. So the other Ben Roethlisberger was only a little bit better, but the speed wasn't as good. So Baker Mayfield would be nice, but I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I just need to go receiver because it's not like Ben Roethlisberger is bad. He's just not as fast as Baker Mayfield, but this Baker Mayfield also isn't that fast. It's just faster. Well, let's take a look at the speed again. 76. It's... I don't think there's enough of a difference. I really like this DJ Moore. I'm going to take him. So that's as much of the gauntlet completed as we can complete right now. Now I guess it's time to look at maybe the diamonds, although that's going to be really hard to complete. But I still want to take a look at it. Diamonds, and of course we've got the Gatorade first. We'll do this. I've pretty much made the decision based on the fact that um, who we've picked. Now, theoretically, quarterback could still be a choice. Running back, I... I don't know, that's the problem. I feel like now actually a quarterback. So here, because I passed on some other players, I'm gonna go for Cam Newton. I did kinda wanna go Todd Gurley, but I doubt I'll ever fully complete these sets. And Todd Gurley at his absolute best has got 89 speed, which of course isn't bad, but I feel like we'll end up taking a running back with over 90 speed at some point. Cam Newton, however, turns out to be a very good quarterback, so we'll start with him. Okay, so we got the highest version of Cam Newton that we can get right now without getting some tradable Gatorade players. And so let's compare him. And he doesn't compare well to the same overall Ben Roethlisberger. He does running wise and throw power, but his accuracy is way worse. So it's not someone we will be using right now, but we have him now and obviously we can upgrade him to be better than this. And I assume maybe one or two upgrades which would be expensive right now, but I assume as the this is brand new, so I assume as that kind of starts to cool down a little bit, those upgrades will be a little bit cheaper. So we'll keep Ben Roethlisberger, but we've got the opportunity now to get a really high-rated Cam Newton at some point in the future, so I'm not mad about that. Everybody else is in the lineup. We'll take a look at the team in a minute, but we've still got, I think the Team Diamonds are worth looking at to see if we can get something done there. And I think that'll be, do well, that'll be us done with sets right now. Now, of course, the big thing here is it will be expensive to complete this. I do not believe I'm in the place to complete this easily. That's not at all the situation. I'm just looking at who is available. And from the people I've seen, I mean, I'd like a good safety, things like that. But I feel like really, or maybe Le'Veon Bell would be good. Okay, let's say I want Le'Veon Bell. Okay, so I had to do some quick maths here to figure this out. Now, of course, one reason why Bell would be good is we two, we already have two core elites. We have Ben Roethlisberger, we have Stefan Tuitt. However, we obviously don't have any of the other players. And to just the core elites, just to get them in there, it would cost 651,000 coins. So I looked at the Team Diamonds and I do believe what I've been reading is it's not necessarily worth it, at least right now. Obviously, I think once the value of cards starts to drop and then you pick up a 92 player for much cheaper, obviously the card is worth less, but it would cost less to get and then, you know, I'd be happy with that. But I don't think that's worth it right now. It would, I, I would have to sink probably all of the coins into a single player. That said, theoretically, uh, some of those players are worth more than that, but we're not going to mess around with that right now. That is us done with the sets. And now let's take a look at the team because that has improved a lot. So we have gone from a 79 to an 81 overall team just by completing a few sets. Of course, now DJ Moore on the team, Zach Ertz on the team. I think, in all honesty, I really do think we may be in a position now to start actually challenging 
in the uh, solo battles. So that's the end of a shorter episode. Like I said, just necessity this week that it had to be this way. However, if you look at the value of the team, we've actually gone up in team value by 4,000 coins because, I don't know, clearly somebody got more valuable. I figured we would drop, but actually right now this team is holding value. Something I didn't see as well was TJ Lang, for example, is tradable, but I didn't want to trade him away because he's now worth 15,000 coins and we're at a stage where that's not really such significant money that I'm desperate for it. Trade Boston is the same tradable but those players I don't really mind I'll keep them until they're worth nothing because they're not that bad anyway and we don't have significantly not obviously we don't have better alternatives otherwise we'd be using them we don't have significantly close enough alternatives to make it worth it so that is it for this one mud up or shut up I think this time I shut up a little bit more but it's nothing against man and ultimate team I just didn't have the time to grind it this week we will however next week be playing every single solo battle, be doing all of that to pick up everything we can do because I think this team is close enough now to not be frustrating to actually play at high difficulties. Ah!